Today we will discuss a situation map of the tragic events of early February 2023. Dozens of whales were killed and stranded ashore in Cyprus. Such a big loss of whales undoubtedly affect the reproduction rate in the area. Some say whales. We do not have whales in the med. This is not true. As you could observe from the map, there are many species of whales spotted in the East Mediterranean and in particular in the finicky Seamounts whales habitat. The initial layman version of the link between the death of whales and the earthquake was totally dismissed, both by scientists and by sea protection activists. There is no established link or effect of any earthquakes to the whales. The cause of death of whales was embolism or decompression. The most probable cause of embolism is the disorientation effect of deployment of powerful mid-frequency active naval sonar. So the suspects were rightfully out of the Navy. And here, the official med media space stopped being objective. They play politics and not science. Both American and Russian Navy supposed to be in the area northwest of Cyprus. American huge aircraft carrier CVN-77 strike group was spotted in the area on February 8. Russian Navy issued navigational warnings or NAFTEX back in January and alerted merchant vessels about dangers for navigation due to Navy exercise with firing. There are no evidence that the Russian Navy was in the spot on the day of the tragedy. Also of note, the Russian Navy exercises were declared to continue well into February 28, while no more whale stranding were reported since February 9 to 10. We are not rushing for conclusions. We are presenting evidences obtained from the public sources, and we call our audience, which may include the reps from the Navy, to send us their comments. But we have an opinion. So, we have uh, the following evidences so far. First of all, the evidence is that uh, scientists reported that beaked whales, or the type of whales killed, were known to have habitat in the area south of Antalya Gulf, some 25 nautical miles of the Cape Gelidoni of Turkey coast, in position of about 35-45 north, 30-33 east. Second, it was reported that U.S. Navy USS George W. Bush CVN-77 Nimitz-class nuclear supercarrier was spotted somewhere southeast of Castellariza Island and uh, south of Antalya Gulf in the East Mediterranean Sea on the 8th of February. Of note, the CVN-77 strike group comprises of many naval assets. Third, the NAFTEX navigation warning about Navy exercises was issued by the Russian Navy for the area more southwest and for the period starting February 5 and ending February 28. Fourth, scientific evidence is abundant about lethal effect of mid-frequency active naval saunas on whales and in particular on beaked whales. So based on the above, we came to the following version of events. There was probably a standoff, or in other words, high level of alert between American and Russian Navy in the East Mediterranean area at the material time. A group of big whales, who are known to live and move in families, were accidentally approaching the CVN-77 strike group at the depths and at the speed of the submarines are normally operating. Under these circumstances, sonar technicians deployed at full capacity mid-frequency or similar sonar systems. The whales were instantly disorientated 
and rush to the surface to their eventual death due to decompression. We invite U.S. Navy to contact us and to provide an alternative version of events. We stress that this is our opinion only. Real facts may well be different. We also invite our audience to comment. But we call all of the navies to avoid any activity in the area of known habitat of whales. We will do our best to deploy charity ship as soon as possible to the areas of whales in order to protest any naval activity.